That stare, that stare deep in a man's soul, deep in a man's eyes, you see the struggle. You see the pain. You see what he's overcome. You see what he's become. A beast doesn't know he's a beast. And when a man gets closer to becoming one, the less he knows. Motherfuckers are trying to skip the struggle. You guys are denouncing the adversity that is the strength you want. Avoiding what's going to build you. Authenticity means transparency, vulnerability, strength. We don't know your story. We don't know your story. Show me a hero and I'll write you a motherfucking tragedy. You know my story of overcoming. What the fuck did you overcome? I keep seeing people try to share their story, but it's a bunch of figurative bullshit. What's your struggle? A diet? A workout? You're finally waking up? What the fuck is that? That's not a fucking struggle. Where I come from, those are the gifts that saved us. A man's reward, a man's strength, a man's true gift is at work, motherfucker. Years in the shoe. Just pa ba 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 Just fucking cranking them out. Motherfuckers dying in that penitentiary. Motherfuckers dying in there. You think a struggle's a fucking diet. You think you're fighting demons? You're paying the repercussions of your choices. Stupid as I was in the pen. But who we are behind closed doors. Who we are when we're fighting our darkest hour. That's who we become in the end. When you're soft like this. When I see you and I feel you and you're soft. We know how you were when them doors were closed, bitch. You weren't able to hack it. Your self-talk, your actions, your thoughts during times of adversity. That's who you became. You were cupcaking a lot of them. Wes, my boy just did 15. Wes, I just got out. I just did 26. Wes, I, I've been in this gang. I lived this life. I've done this shit. I've done that all the whole nine. Motherfucker, you weren't present during it you weren't present during it you didn't have that savage motherfucking voice inside you when shit was tough you were being beat up but that's why i'm here i'm here to show you that a man's validation comes from those moments i didn't want to get up today 245 hit real quick it was cold out it's fucking raining it was leg day here I am again, validating himself with his ability to overcome. This is nothing. I just remember the times in the penitentiary where I'm already up reading. Already got that shit out, feet kicked up, have already worked out. The first thought in a motherfucker's mind. Look over at my rack. Yeah, I'm up, motherfucker. Once again, once again, that's what I thrive off of. I thrive off of the fact that I validate myself with the acts. The actions that validate a fucking man, his daily habits build him into who he's gonna become. I need to know your story, motherfucker. What's your story? The man with the best story wins because he gets to show people how to go from point A to point B. We don't know your point A. We don't know your point A, motherfucker. You're speaking platitudes and motivation. You're not telling true stories. These are true stories of someone overcoming a massive hurdle. So these other ones are nothing, bitch. The day they sentenced me, I knew I was gone for 10 years. I had a choice, fall victim, and absorb every moment of those 10 years. Let them break me or observe those 10 years. Sit back and say, I'm writing the greatest story ever told. I knew I had a chance at that moment to write the greatest story ever told. And that's why I'm here. I had to show that from complete despair and at comp below the bottom, 
you can rebound higher than you could ever imagine. And the work, the daily steps it took to even come back into society, correct, after 10 years of incarceration and violence and pain and overcoming negative thoughts, do you even begin to comprehend what this is? And then to come out and adapt to new technology, the shit that frustrates you bitches that you don't understand. Your stress management level is so low. Oh, fuck it. I don't even fuck Instagram. I, I don't even want to understand this shit or your phone or whatever the fuck. Everything that you need to adapt to. So you adapt or perish, motherfucker. Everything you need to adapt to so that you don't fall a victim and become one of these motherfuckers that refuse to change with the times. Do you know the amount of struggle it took to come from the penitentiary? 10 years in the fucking penitentiary. Fighting self. Building self. Healing self. Then getting released out of those gates with 200 fucking dollars and a fucking nothing else. And believing that you could get to this height in four years. I'm up here. It's almost four years to the fucking day that they let me out with 200 bucks. And I said, fuck a plan B. I got one plan. That's to be the greatest man I can be every moment of every day and not crack once. All those back steps you took is the success you've been looking for. That one drink that turned into seven. That one meal. That one day off. I haven't done any of those. Obsession is what you want. The obsessed man will, succeed, will excel. And everyone around him, I can't even believe. Why do you want to get bigger or more ripped? Uh, why do you even want multiple? Uh, they they don't, don't take advice from average people who don't follow their vision. They're not manifesting their destiny. They're average motherfuckers who suck choosing less. Some fat loser who married his fat chick. And they fucking met in high school. And they both settled for less. And they're fucking don't realize what they would be capable of if they weren't so fucking selfish. You building the best you to serve the world is the least selfish thing you could ever do. All you motherfuckers that are self-serving all day, missing the fucking point. You're holding us all down with your lack of belief, low frequency, lack of follow through ass motherfuckers. Fucking step the fuck up today. All you guys who follow my lead, you're the evolutionary factor for us as humans, pushing us forward, seeking a higher state, working for it, not just reading about it. I'm just going to read this. Maybe I'll level up just from reading. Motherfucker. I didn't even want to squat today. Did multiple sets of 20 plus reps with 315 because I had to. I have to fucking show up each day. It's my obligation. Who else is going to do it? I'll do it. Step up for your people today. I love you guys. There's nothing you can't do. But make sure you realize, don't sell out your authenticity to be accepted. Tell your story. What is yours? Be proud of it. If we don't know it, you're hiding it. Let's go.